All right, med bay. Here's the med bay. Bishop Six, welcome to the medical bay. Hello. This place is disastrous. I do apologize. Oh, come on, Kieran. Greet our new bishop. Bishop, it's nice to see you again. Hmm. Is that a... Is that a television? That thing looks old school. Yes. It is a 32-inch Toshiba from 1995. <laughs> one of the many televisions I've managed to acquire over the years. The best in my collection is a 3-inch General Electric Octagon from 1928. Notice he is actually proud of that fact? So you like movies from my time. Let's let's say nothing. So anyway... No, Bishop. Alana was telling me you were acting strange earlier. Said you seemed a little mixed up. If you'll just step over here and lay down, I'll run a full body scan. Just to be sure. Okay. That no, looks don't be creepy. Afraid, Bishop. It's perfectly harmless. Mm-hmm. I'll just step into the thing that's going to tie me down and make it so I can't move. Oh, by the way, did I mention there's a murder on this ship? Yeah. Okay. This will just take a few seconds. I just sit up there, neural abnormality will be detected. Hmm. Um, you know, they might detect something strange, apparently, so... Uh, I don't like not being able to move. <laughs> don't be such a wuss. How is that even possible? They found something. I'm not entirely sure. Bishop, you have more simultaneous synapses firing than what should be possible. It's as if there are two of you housed within the same brain. Two of him? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Is this some kind of anomaly? Yes. Unless the bishop has an explanation for us. Um. I've traveled here from an alternate dimension. No, I honestly have no idea. How unique is this? If he has never seen it before, then it is undoubtedly very rare. Whatever this is, I'd certainly like to run some more scans from our base in BC. Maybe after your induction ceremony. Now, we've got a lot more cleaning to do around here. Oh, <laughs> you mean you do? I will return to my command VR, if there is nothing else you need, Bishop. <laughs> is that a game then, Command VR? Dude, that's not a- it's obviously not a game, Jesus. Nope, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Good day, Bishop. It was really nice meeting you. Hey guys, I think I've got something here. I've been keeping a line open on our two fighter escorts outside, hoping they'd break the silence and speak to Angelov. Well, one of them just did. And, uh, well, you gotta hear this for yourselves. Tell me if you want me to patch the recording through your CMC. Yeah, let me hear it. All right, B. Here it comes. This is Operation Forerunner calling for Angelov. Come in, Angelov. What do you want? I told you to be silent until the next phase. I know, sir, but, but I'm having second thoughts about all of this. Their plane is, well, it, it, it's very large, sir. And so the harder it will fall, yes? Remain where you are, or... Wait a minute. Is this line secure? Did you run this call through the program I told you to use? Oh, no, sir. I guess I did not. I'm sorry, sir. Just hold your position and wait till the next phase. And wait. If you're listening to this, and I know that you are... You can tell your knight that her new bishop is about to have a very bad day. All right, everyone. That puts us on high alert. I want you all prepared for whatever this next phase turns out to be. <laughs> yes, boss. But you won't catch me worrying. Wait a minute, he's looking specifically for me. He said your new bishop better look out. Why? Why does he want me? I know the old bishop caused some problems, but I'm not the old bishop. Weird. Whoa. 
Quantum Core Diagnostics and Maintenance. Holy crap, look at that thing. It's beautiful. Alright. So he mentioned this place being a mess and that they needed to clean it up. What is he talking about? It looks perfectly fine to me. I mean, okay, there's some maintenance equipment on one bed. Is that the only clutter? Hmm. Hello, Bishop. Unfortunate business upstairs, don't you think? Definitely not a good start to my first day, that's for sure. No, perhaps not. But you'll always be remembered as the new bishop who uncovered a murdered pawn. That is something, I suppose. Now, I really must return to my cleaning. Come back later if you wish. Perhaps Pawn 24 will be finished her game by then. Wait, is, is it actually a game? It actually is a game? Oh. Okay then. Alright. I think I've maybe met everyone at this point. Let's go, let's go do training. Man, look at how cool this game is. Look at all the stuff I've done. And all of the interesting experiences I've already had. And I haven't even done the training. How amazing is that? Alright, this is probably where the shooting parts are going to come in. Access granted, basic training available, let's go. Welcome to the introductory Consortium Bishop training scenario. I'm Rook25, and I'll be your guide for today. Do I just go to the center? Well, and this is also a perfect example of how absolutely insane the FPS flux fluctuations in this game are. Like, right now, looking at the floor, I'm getting 13 FPS. That is insane. 13 FPS in this, this little cube-filled world that has almost nothing in it. Very, very strange. I'm guessing that maybe it's maybe it's still rendering the ship or something like that. Maybe it's an occlusion cooling issue? I'm not sure, it's very strange. I mean, it's not that big of a deal at the moment. Because I haven't been needing to shoot anything, nothing that involves twitch reflexes of any sort. But, I hope it doesn't become an issue. Your personal containment unit can store matter in energy form, and has built-in healing and repairing functions. It is also capable of transforming small, solid matter objects directly into utility energy. You see the floating pieces of junk around the platform. Use your PCU to convert them directly into utility energy. Neat. Log up to the Virtual Soldier. I can do that. That mean looking robot is about to shoot you. That looked like it hurt. Ow. Use utility energy to power your medical nanites. Each select the numbered slot on your HUD to auto heal your injuries over time, or select individual organs to heal from your inventory. You know what? This um this little training sequence here actually reminds me really heavily of System Shock 2. Remember the training from System Shock 2? Had a somewhat similar kind of... visual look and... 
Yeah, this energy is just reminding me of, like, nanites, even though I don't think nanites were actually used to heal you. But still. Very cool, because System Shock 2 was awesome. Alright, so I can heal myself using this, I think. Where am I hurt, though? I guess I was hurt such a small amount that I couldn't even really see it. This is 99%. Utility suit and assault helmet represent your basic combat protection gear. Basic combat protection gear, okay. Damage gear, either select the numbered slot on your HUD to auto repair your armor over time, or select individual armor pieces to repair from your inventory. Alright, so once again, same sort of thing. Let me try the auto thing. Press 7. Apparently uses less energy than healing, okay. Civilians, you must protect them. Consortium Energy Assault Rifle, or SEER, is your best non-lethal combat solution. What in the hell are you saying? These robots sound creepy. Non-lethal sonic pulse, okay. Using its primary firing mode, the Seer projects a multi-target sonic pulse that can knock down nearly any unshielded enemy. Right, so right click is lethal and left click is not. After bringing your enemies down, get up close and stick them with nanites to incapacitate them. Oh no, don't get up. Notice that you can inject multiple targets simultaneously. Okay. The rifle or car is your alternate combat weapon choice. And, unlike the Seer, it does not need utility energy to function and instead requires physical ammunition. Go grab one now. Alright, where do I grab it from? Picking up stuff. What is this? Oh, grenades. Oh, here we go. Wait, no. Pick up the kinetic assault rifle and ammunition. That's not the right assault rifle. Alright, where is this thing? Is it back here? Oh, here it is. Okay. Nice work, Bishop. The kinetic assault rifle, or car, comes equipped with lethal rounds capable Wait, wait, wait. I, I didn't even pick it up. Hold on. Do we need to, like, drop this stuff? Um, I think I need to recycle stuff. There we go. Of course I have no ammo, because, <laughs> oh my god, what have I done? Oh no, here we go, okay. Whew. Whoa. Right click grenade launcher, okay. Oh, I don't even need to reload, do I? Doesn't look like I do. 
Okay. Grenade. Oh, I guess I need to actually kill them. And complete. Oh, I just spawned more bots. Stop spawning bots! Stop spawning bots! Ah. Oh, hi. Scores 1100. So I'm done, right? Just... How do I leave? Ah, there it is. Let's see how accurate this thing is. Damn. Wow. All done with that. That wasn't too hard. Wait, what? What the hell's happening? Whoa. Well, as you can probably see, Angelos' two fighters have just multiplied into two dozen. <laughs> Still not a my girl get handled. Six and Kieran. Now is your chance to meet the great Bulgarian nuisance. He's on the holocom now and is acting... Well, you'll have to come see for yourselves. Bishop Six, please report. Mission operations, okay. Looks like we finally have to deal with him. Uh, I regret nothing. No men die with now. honor. You see? I'm not trying to play any games here. I'm only trying to prevent this from turning ugly. Again. Good. Good. This is very good. And how is Bishop Six? You are feeling strong, I hope. Ready for your first day? Hmm. Well, ready as I'll ever be. He's quite the Boy Scout, isn't he? Enough posturing. Either tell me what you want or get out of our way. <laughs> you have no idea what is happening here. Poor little girl. Your king must be blind. Did we not just go through this song and dance a month ago? And did your daddy not give you a good spanking for it? My father will not be coming to your rescue this time, Knight. Come now, Kirill. It's Christmas. How about you let us pass, and we'll get into this another time. I promise. How does next Tuesday look for you? Mm, listen very carefully. You will land and surrender your warship immediately. If you do not, I will blow you out of the sky. You've got to be kidding me. Give me a minute to confer with my people. Clearly you do not understand. Comply now, or I will take Zenlil from you by force. A minute, Carol. That is not a request. One, will you please inform local authorities of our location, and to expect possible plane debris to follow? I'm already on it, sir. Can you see now why I've called you all here? Oh, yes. He's probably just blowing smoke. But there's an edge to him I've not seen before. I mean, he's usually hopped up on himself, but... Never has he outright threatened to kill us. It's no doubt his attempt at revenge for what Bishop Eight did. He appears to be rather unintelligent as well. Or is this an illusion? The subject of his intelligence is one of constant debate around him. <laughs> well, I think he's not only stupid, but also irrational and hot-headed. A nasty combination for someone in his position of power. It's very deceiving, though. The use of old planes to stay under the radar. His bravado. The love his men have for him. I think it's a very intelligent role he plays to feed his all-encompassing ego and get what he wants. You give him far too much credit. Hmm. 
Night 15 is right. We should maybe be taking him more seriously here. Oh, well, thank you. But I never said we should be taking him seriously. Just that he's acting a little off. Until we know what has changed, if anything, we'll treat him as we always do. Now, let's see if I can't deflate his bloated ego a little. Put him back on. Angelov is no longer transmitting. Wait a second. Sorry, boss, we got company. Huh. Looks like a... Well, it's a bloody boarded carrier. It's only a few hundred meters behind us. How did it get so close? I can't explain it. It just came out of nowhere. But it's also emitting some kind of scrambler signal. I can't get a lock. What the hell is... I've detected two new incoming F-35s. One's a few kilometers behind the other. There's a... There's a gathering energy source of some kind coming from the lead fighter. He's seven kilometers off the port side now, and he's closing fast. I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> I could just bypass the carrier signal to regain targeting control. You better make it quick. There is no way he's that stupid. I've almost got it. Three kilometers. What the hell is that thing? Wait, the Habitat 5124 incident. I think this is the same delivery system Stormbird reported. Wade? Jill, hold up, boss. I bet my life on it. Uh, we may have ourselves a problem. Auxiliary fuel reserves Just have a seat online. over here and relax. Secondary turbine engaged. Where's the second fighter, Wade? Talk to me! I can't see a bloody thing, boss. Not a Are you okay? Guys, what is happening to her? You may want to. Oh, shite! Get down! Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, shit. Is everyone alright back there? Oh, we got two down and the moon ripped the bullet oh, What the hell just happened? I haven't got the net. I'm sorry. No bullet in existence can oh, penetrate Tendler's plating. It just doesn't right. make any sense. Just relax, Wade. We need you focused. Now, tell me about your girl. How badly is she hurt? Yes, sir. It looks like she's broken bloody back. We've got major shipwide failures. Our weapons, primary engines, cargo containment unit. They're all out. Okay, Wade. I want our primaries back online, and I'd also like to be able to shoot at the bad guys. Half an hour for primaries, 15 to 20 minutes for manual weapons. Just do the best you can, and do it fast. Yes, yes. I see. Six, be prepared to aid Rook-9 in defending this ship. Um, yep. Whatever I can do to help. Good. Let's hope it won't be necessary. All right. Let's hear what he has to say for himself. Now are you prepared to surrender, little girl? Drop the ridiculous act, for God's sake! This is not like you, Kirill. You just shot up two of my people with that little stunt. And if you think, even for a second, that you're going to get away with that, you have another thing coming. Tell me something. How does the cold hand of death feel as it takes its grip around your throat? I think I can stall him for a little bit, but we need a better plan than this. Have you completely lost your mind? If you destroy this vessel, you will only bring the full might of the Consortium down on you. I'd say it's pretty simple. Lost we stall long enough to fix our guns, and then we flip his arse back to mercenary oblivion. Kirill's temper will never give us enough time. I have grown to enjoy your company. Whereas a little sister Let him to use me. the boarding the carrier. Aid was once an older Excuse me. Brother. Say that again, Kieran. You and Let him use the carrier. Incredibly when he boards, we certainly separate the head from a snake. And when only his men you board us instead, more than that. Kieran has you a claim point. to be a politically if driven mercenary whose worst crime Kieran before today was raiding some cargo flights and kidnapping a local politician or two. You are small time, Angelov. All of this madness today is far beyond your threat level. Threat level. You consortium scum know nothing about the world. We have to make a decision here. All right. Threat levels and childish chess-based hierarchy. Are you perhaps a? I can convince him to board us. I like the enthusiasm, that I will, what? but I don't think so. You. I'll take care. Make of it. a mistake. You just handle like things when you've got hijacked boards. running. Right. Okay. So what we let him think Five he's one. Five tons of black market exogon materials from Lebanon to Baghdad. Those murderous Syrian and Iraqi mercenary groups chasing you, they sure didn't like you being in their airspace, did they? Hey now, that sort of sounds familiar, doesn't it? I will only put up with so much disrespect, Knight. 
I'm sorry, Carol. Really. But you do have me in an extremely difficult position here. <laughs> and so we come full circle. To the point. You will inform your Rook-9 that he is to land Zenlil at the coordinates I have already given him. Run along now and do what you are told. But we don't have enough fuel to reach the coordinates you have given us. Your EMP killed our primaries, and I'm assuming that you'll never let a refueling ship anywhere near us. If you'll only listen to me for two minutes, I think I have a solution. Do your crew a favor and stop speaking. Let the men talk. Bishop Six, may I speak to you for a moment? Just a little chat before your knight forces me to shoot you down. Of course, you total piece of shit. Hold on, let me ask uh, Knight 15. What should I do? It's okay. Do what he asks and we'll make you the good guy. Yoo-hoo! Bishop! Oh, damn it. Are you quite done speaking through that CMC of yours? I asked you a question. I guess he noticed. I'm here. Start talking. This is good. A sensible bishop for once. Angelo. Let's you and I focus on figuring something out that works for all of us. This is no negotiation. And did I not just tell you to stop speaking? So, Bishop, all of this excitement on your first day, you must be feeling a little overwhelmed. Keep him talking, Six, and don't make him angry. All right. You could say that. Today's been pretty rough. Ah. Oh. Poor little bishop. Let's see now. You've been rudely awoken by Rook 25. Your new plane has been malfunctioning all morning. Pawn 1 over there hates you. What else? Wait, how do you know all that? Alright, cut to the chase. You obviously want to tell me something. You want me to cut to the chase? How about you tell your people about Pawn 7's untimely demise, hmm? It's not very consortium of you to lie to them, is it? You son of a bitch! What did he just say? What did you just say? <laughs> so you've not told your bonds. Why don't you have someone take a look inside what was once Bishop Aid's cabin? Do not look to her for permission! Look at me! It's okay, 19. I... well... I can go look myself. It'll only take a minute. You will not leave this room. You will call another bun to look now and put them on the loudspeaker. Patricia, come in, please. Is that you, 19? <laughs> Why are you calling me Patricia? We have a bit of a situation up here. <sighs> please don't ask me any questions. Can you just do me a huge favor and go look inside Bishop Hate's old cabin? Get back to me on this line ASAP and don't come to Mission Ops. Sure. Of course. Give me just a few minutes. Wade, go ahead and unlock the cabin for her. It's done. All right, Carol. Now that you've stirred up even more trouble, let's get to it, shall we? What can we do to make you go away? Go away? But we were just getting started. I would really like to know how he knew about Pawn 7. How did you know about Pawn 7? Cameras. Bishop, those who hired me have managed to install spy cameras and sound equipment within your vessel. I can see into every room. Tell me he's making that out. He is absolutely lying, boss. It is impossible. So then how does he know? Rook 9 says that is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Perhaps your Rook-9 is involved. What if they are all lying to you? Have you not thought about that? I know exactly who committed this murder. Would you like to know the truth? Pond 19. Come in. I'm here. Did you find anything? There's... There's... There's blood everywhere. His head is... I... I... You... You... I... I... Get it out already. He is dead. Pond 7 is dead. My god, 
You people are like children. That is really not necessary. I will decide what is necessary. So, where are we? Ah, yes. Cameras. Pawn 7's death. The big mystery. There are no cameras aboard this vessel. Don't listen to him. If you saw it happen, then who did it? Are you sure you wish to know the truth? You may not like what you hear. What's the point? Well, no, let's go, yes, out with it. There was no murder. It was an accident. I have no idea why Pawn 7 went into that room. But he tripped over himself and hit his head on the keypad of the locker. It looks like he broke his neck. <laughs> I had you going, didn't I? Oh, Paul bullshit. Said his death was not an accident, and his neck was not broken. His skull was crushed. Let's say I believe you. What else do you know? Nothing more. Only what your enemy have allowed me to see. Don't you understand? They are the real threat here. Once I take your life, my part in this will end. I fear to see what will come next for the Consortium. Hmm. Then let me surrender myself, and no one else needs to die. Surrender yourself? Really? That is not what I was promised from you. You sound so boringly civilian. I was told that you were a cold-blooded killer. Enough! I have reached my limit, Angelo. I won't let you poison my crew any longer with your sputtering nonsense. You have a decision to make. You can destroy us. You can board us and try your hand against our bishop, or you can bloody well listen to what I have to say. What's it going to be? I was hoping I could make you this angry. Something about English women with authority in their voice. It makes me tingle all over. Make your decision! I am in a good mood. The bishop here has certainly amused me enough. Let me hear your proposal. Let us evacuate onto a mission pod. We'll happily leave the area and hand Zen will over to you. What do you say? Mm, under one condition. The bishop must stay on board and surrender to me. We have much to discuss, he and I. Are you serious? I am not about to hand you my bishop on a bloody platter. I could just tell my men to open fire on you right now. What do you say, bishop? Will you surrender peacefully to me? Of course. I will follow orders. I will follow orders. You are like a little puppy biting at the heels of its master. So it seems, little knight, that we have ourselves a deal. I will give you five minutes to do as I say and evacuate all but the three ship. Five minutes, and I want you off that ship. Wait, will you please prepare mission part one? Set it for autopilot towards island, and we'll pick it up when we're done here. No problem, boss. Already standing by. Go ahead and load it with enough junk from the cargo containment unit to simulate our combined weight. That's a nice touch, sir. Very nice. Can't they just scan the mission pod for life signs? Scan for life signs? Okay, Captain Picard. <laughs> you want us to go to warp speed while we're at it? It would be helpful. What I think she means, Six, is that such technology does not exist. Okay, then. Tell me lockdown systems are up and running. They are. Good. Let's get everyone in here, then. All personnel Alana, show the bishop what we've got operations. for him. Yes, sir. We do have ourselves an emergency weapons locker. Hmm. In there, you'll find a couple weapons to choose from. You better hurry this up. They're positioning that carrier just behind our tail. Damn, he's impatient. Okay, launch mission pod one now. Mission pod one is away, and it looks like two of them are following it. 
That sound, ladies and gentlemen, was the sound of a boarding carrier tearing a hole through our hull. It's showtime. Just remember, Six. Disarm and surrender to his men. When Kirill comes aboard to gloat, that is when you arm up and take him out. Okay, I'm full on power. Yep. I just realized I have no idea what she just said. Holy crap. What? Oh god, what'd she say? Alright, so I'm going non-lethal here. Of course. What, what am I doing? I totally missed what she said. Take the stairs up to the lounge, head to the hangar bay, and surrender to the mercenaries. Okay. What's my cue, though? When am I supposed to start shooting? I didn't hear what she said. Oh, no. I better save it. I'm going this way, right? Hangar bay. That's the bathroom. Disarm yourself immediately. Okay. Where do you think you are going, sir? Do what he says. We have the bishop, and he appears Disarm. to be surrendering. Come to you. Excellent. Hold your position. I'm on my way. If he so much as sneezes in your direction, you know what to do. Yes, sir. All right. Just gotta wait. Just gotta wait. Board. Bring the bishop to me immediately. Yes, sir. We are coming. Go downstairs and talk with the Kirill. All right. So down, down here, down the ladder. Is that where I'm supposed to go, or are they just about to shoot me? Move it, Bishop. I won't say it. Good boy. You may still get out of this with your life. There oh, you are. Wow. There he is. Isn't this wonderful? We should not waste any more time, Kiro. Let us finish this before it's too late. In due time, my little underling. We have plenty of time. Now that we are, well, mostly alone, I wanted to speak with you, man to man. This whole ordeal has made me very curious about you. Maybe we can come to an agreement without bloodshed? No deals. I am sorry, but this can only end one way. First, though, I would like to know what makes you so special. Why all of this fuss over such an insignificant consortium spec? You can tell me. I can keep a secret. Oh yeah, like I'm going to trust him. Your guess is as good as, good as mine. Sure. If you say so. I think you know exactly why I am here. Take him out now while you got him distracted. Now? Where are you planning on taking me? Taking you? I only wanted to speak with you a little. Taking Zen Lil was my own. Should I just do it right now? Plan. Drop this on yourself. Over. Not sure that was a good idea. Oh my god. Come on, come on. Come on. Incapacitate them. I'm still alive, somehow. No, don't search. I think it just took a shotgun shells. Nice work, Bishop. Did I even get him? Where is he? He's still there. I'm running out of power here. Oh, 
Hold on, I gotta repair. Low utility. Oh, crap. Is useless without utility crap. energy. Where do I charge it? Where do I charge it? There's no power on these charging things, right? Oh, no, there is. Okay, okay, okay. Is he still there back there? Go, repairing my armor. Yep, 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 yep. I think I'm good to go. There we go. Gotcha. Hey guys. Good job capturing him. He'll have some questions to answer when he wakes up. Kill them. Rest look around already and clap themselves. Release the Atmo shielding and let them return to the boarding carrier. We've got what we wanted. I'm liking this non side to you. Work. What the hell is happening? Especially nice. I can't move. Managed to incapacitate all of them. Pretty damn impressive. I didn't I can't move. What? I I'm stuck. Um. There's more. Okay, I can't move and I'm stuck and there's more enemies and I can't do anything. Let's try that again. Yeah. That was very, very strange. We kill them. The rest look about ready to clap themselves. Release the Atmo shielding and let them return to the boarding carrier. We've got what we wanted. Nice work. You only killed a small number of them. You did good, Bishop. But Wade's still gonna need your help. Wait, I only killed a small number of them. What are you talking about? I, I didn't think I killed a single one of them. Unconscious. 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 Un who did I kill? What are you talking about killing? Unconscious. I need you to come back to mission operations. Right away. Alright, I'm coming. Yeah, I don't understand. Who did I kill? They'll just seem to be unconscious. This is friendly luck, like I can't. I don't uh, I don't understand what's happening. Please stop shooting my face. I just want to leave. It should have turned into a bloody hornet's nest out there. Okay, what in the hell is happening? Is this friendly lock? I can't shoot. And they made it sound like I got rid of everybody, but yet they're still here. I don't understand what's happening. Something seems horribly broken. Also, why are there no save games here, even though there obviously is a save game because I've disconnected? And then continued. Okay, I think I'm just gonna run for the place I'm supposed to go, apparently. Because I, I think this mission might be broken or something. I think I might have broken the game. Good job capturing Kira. He'll have some questions to answer when he wakes up. The kill down. The rest look about ready to clap themselves. Release the Atmo shielding and let them return to the boarding carrier. We've got what we wanted. Right, let them return to the boarding carrier. Right, so I'm not supposed to do anything to them. Especially nice that you managed to incapacitate all of them. Pretty damn impressive. I didn't think you had any. Okay, now everything seems fine. I don't understand. Can I make a hard save? Well, 
All right, that was confusing. All right, people. I think we've only got a minute or two before our friends out there start playing not so nice. And our weapons? We're good to go on this end, boss. Let's see what that bishop can do. Before he heads for the guns, I've got an idea. Can you patch me into the F-35s? No problem. You're on. Pilots are threatening homeless mercenaries. I am Knight 15, commanding officer of the consortium vessel Zenlil. In an effort to seize control of this vessel, your leader has been captured by our bishop. In exchange for lenient jail time, Angelov is telling us your names, where you live, where your family members live, anything we want to know. If you do not wish to have an enemy in the consortium for the rest of your lives, disengage immediately. <laughs> that should do it. Wade, do me a favor and fire a couple of shots across a few of their bows. Give them a little scare. <laughs> Got it. Nice. A few already tacking off, boss. And listen to this. There's no hope here. Angela has betrayed us. They're not disabled and not too powerful. We must retreat. The rest not running off for home are beginning an attack patterns. It looks like we've got ourselves a good old-fashioned dogfight. Bishop, I need your other guns right away. You can access the manual weapon system through the command interface inside mission operations. Ah, and that would be this. Okay. Bishop six in the flesh. Yep, that's 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 me. Hello. You want my autograph? Here All we right. go. So this is Zen's manual weapons control interface. Now let's get this thing done. Quick crash course before I let you at it. Your left Ooh. control can lock and release non-lethal EMP tip missiles. Aim the cursor, then press and hold to lock onto a target. Once a lock's been made, the missile will fire on its own and harmlessly swat your target from the sky. Oh, I see. Okay. Your right control is Zen's point defense laser. It's most useful for destroying incoming missiles. But that bad boy can also obliterate fighters in an instant, killing the pilot. So try not to uh, take it there unless absolutely necessary, yeah? Of course. I'll stick with the EMP for now. Oh god, oh god. Oh shit, we got hit. I think I'm failing. No, we're okay. Alright, this is pretty easy. Oh. Oh, I see, okay. Right, taking out that. Incapacitating the f crafts themselves. Anybody else? There we go. Okay. Oh, bloody hell, B. That was incredible. In my five years with the consortium, I have never seen anyone handle themselves like that with our weapons. I second that, and I'm starting to see a little why the game likes you so much. And Six, now that everyone knows, I want you to start an internal investigation into the murder of Pawn Seven. Just ask around a little, but don't push too hard. I'll be in Global Ops with my head in my own work. Of course, of course. Speak with the crew about Pawn Seven's murder. Discover who the traitor is. We have a little murder mystery on our hands. Alright, let me put this weapon away. Can I? What if I recycle this? Okay. That was an interesting little mini game. It looks like it kind of obeys or or follows the same sort of choices that you have with your normal weapons. Where you can go lethal or non-lethal if you want. Hmm. I guess ooh. Ooh. That looks nasty. 
feel strange now that I can't actually look outside. Oh, here we go. Ah. My sense of place has returned. Alright, let's go talk to Carla Croft, was it? Carla something? Yeah, Carla Croft. So I hear Night 15 wants you asking around about Matt's so called murder. Have you got a second here to kill me? Of course, Kendra. Come in. Maybe. Honestly, I want to say that you couldn't have done it because she just seems so freaking nice. But you never know. Maybe it's all an act. Yes, I am, so... Did you do it? What? Don't be ridiculous. That's barely worth responding to. I suppose you think I also sabotaged Zenlil? Well, maybe. <laughs> Relax. I was only seeing how you'd react. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just a little worked up. Not every day is like this. I can promise you that. So how did you know Night 15 has me investigating? It doesn't matter, does it? News spreads fast around here. Someone must have told someone who told someone else. Ending in Pawn 4 telling me. Hmm. I feel like I'm in high school all over again. No kidding. Well, Night 15 told me over the CMC. Well then, I don't know what to say. Pawn 4 heard it somewhere. That's all I know. That's suspicious. I'm writing a note. That is very, very strange. How did somebody already hear about that? Alright. Do you think Pond 4 could be involved? <laughs> no chance. He's far too self-centered. Rook 25 probably told him. No doubt starting as a threat. You know, stop bothering me or I'll turn you into the bishop. <laughs> uh. Okay, good. Thank you for your honesty. It's my pleasure. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, this is too much. I'm pretty sure it's getting worse. Why do you think it's getting worse? Well, if it is a virus, and I think that it is, then it's likely spreading its way through Zenlu one system at a time. And the trouble with that is, Wade won't listen to me. What do you mean Wade won't listen? It's nothing. He's just a little stubborn sometimes when it comes to this ship. He refuses to admit it could be an invasive virus messing everything up, but he's been in the cockpit all day. Hey, maybe you could talk to him. I guess, but what good would that do? Strength in numbers! Not to mention you're a bishop and I'm just his poor lucky. Anyway, if you don't mind, We've all got a lot to do around here, and I'm no exception. Alright. Let's go have a chat with Wade. If I... They're what? Not gonna let you eavesdropping. What the fuck? Well, I didn't expect to see that. Um... <laughs> Mind your damn business, B. Told you! Oh, I don't know them. They seem to think their little relationship is a secret. Well, not... So much of a secret, apparently. So, I don't mean to interrupt, but I kind of mean to interrupt because I need to speak to you. They'll come out once they're done smooching. Don't worry. Huh. I guess all the action has Wade worked up. Nothing like a close encounter with death to make you horny. In that case, I guess I'll just go... Let's go speak with other people. Hello, Bishop. Pawn 64. I can't even talk to you. Alright, well, I can't even talk to him, so apparently he didn't do it. Confirmed. Whoa. Now this access panel opens. It didn't before. What's in here? 
What the hell? Oh. It just goes here. Data processing bay 810. Doesn't do anything. I won't let a silly thing like a murder ruin my mood. <laughs> I sometimes wish I could be just like you, you know? Detached from reality and all. <laughs> oh yes, it is. Rainbows and unicorns, in fact. Nothing but rainbows and unicorns. Where the hell are they talking from? Where... are they below me? Oh, Where'd you come from? Something strange is going on on board. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, not a chance. You get the hell away from me. Okay. Stop it. Go away. No. What don't you understand? Pawn 7 is dead because of you, and I don't want to be next. <laughs> Why is it because of me? Before we get to Pawn 7, did you tell Pawn 19 I was investigating Pawn 7's murder? Did I... what? Who cares, Bishop? The whole ship knows that by now. I want you to go away. Don't you understand English, or... Or is my accent just not American enough for ya? Good job with the accent, buddy. But I was told quietly over the CMC. Good for you. Look, I've been told that you were coming from three different people. If that's all you have to go on, Sherlock, you're gonna need a new tactic. Now, scram before I get the broom. Screw you too. This is really suspicious. Really suspicious. Let's go have a chat with her. Puta, damn you. What are you trying to do? What? What are you? I guess she's repairing something. I'm really very busy right now. Do you mind? Maybe. Maybe I do mind. Whoa, I can accuse her? It was you. You killed Pawn 7. I'm not going to accuse her. Jesus. Whoa, I just went through her. What the hell? Um, I just want to talk for a minute. <sighs> sure, Bishop. What can I do for you? So you and Pawn 4 over there have been here all day? Together? Look, I don't exactly have time for this right now. Relax. I was only double-checking. I'm sorry. It has been a stressful day. To say the least. You bitch! Call them off my sister! The bishop knows what you did to Matthew. How you cracked his skull open and then smiled as he died at your feet! Admit it! What the fuck? Tell the bishop what you did! What is your problem for? I thought... Oh, wait. I see now. If you accuse me, then there's no way to prove you wrong, is that it? We were together all day. It sure would get you out of being investigated, wouldn't it? Don't listen to her, Bishop. She's poison. I followed her into Bishop Eight's old cabin and found her... Found her standing over his body. She... She... That's a lie! Both of you, shut up! Pawn 4 is a creepy ass liar. What the hell is going on? Can you prove any of what you say? I can't believe this! You're just going to believe her because nobody likes me? This is bullshit! Rook 25, control your people. Yes, sir. Okay, that's enough. I have a big enough headache as it is, and neither of you can prove a damn thing. So drop it! You can squabble and bitch to the investigators in Ireland. Alana, please, you, you, you can't just ignore this. Oh, I'm not. If you want to stay within eyeshot of Pawn 32, by all means do so. But you have to investigate. 
at least go through her stuff. Uh, look for a... Uh, I don't know, a, a bomb or something? Get back to work. Forget it. I, <laughs> I'm done with you people. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. I'm not entirely ruling him out. Get back to work. There's something really wrong with that Pawn 4 guy. I was just talking... What the hell? That looks really strange. I was just talking to him a minute ago and he... He had a major mood swing there. Major mood swing. And when he was talking to her, I just overheard a conversation between him and her. And... He was saying, I'm not going to let a silly thing like a murder get me down or ruin my day or something like that. Weird. <laughs> 